Hey everybody, we are going to go over today's lesson on the chops one more time and talk about some more details in it. If I'm in my chin be my ready stance, and I do my chop, I want to make sure I bring my feet together with my knees bent, bringing my hand in to my hips, turning my hips as I step forward, throwing my chop forward. Here's the traditional chungdan sudamaki uh, technique. I'm going to use Cody real quick. We're going to talk about the defense of a haymaker. Cody's throwing a haymaker at my head this way. I need to deal with it. I'm going to close the distance instead of backing away. So when I close the distance, both my hands go up and over. I'm going to reach my arm around, keeping my forearm on his neck, getting a good strong grip, pulling him down, throwing my knee strike. From another angle here, he throws a punch. One, two, getting to the side, away from his other hand in case he does want to throw a punch, bringing him down, throwing the knee strike into the face here. I have my takedown hikinagi, making sure this is nice and tight. I'm going to pass his head underneath and walk backwards. Side section. Right here. So he swings, both hands up. I'm striking the neck, blocking the arm. My arm wraps over top, getting a good grip here, bringing the head down. I have already hit him, so this should have loosened him up a little bit for my knee strike here or here. I can switch knees if I feel like it. Passing the head underneath as I move back. Drop my punch. Another finishing techniques. Another option was a thrust with a knife. Coming underneath, trapping the elbow here. I have my strike to the back of the head or neck. Stepping back, pulling him in for a knee strike. Then I can throw in some jiu-jitsu with a kimura. Or I can keep here, if I have a knife, the fat, flat part of the blade principle, and I can continue to push Cody this way. There's a 